Right, hey guys, welcome back. It is a beautiful Wednesday afternoon, and we're about to start building some more of the new sideline epic, like, trail, like, jump trail, you know? As you can see right behind me is, like, all the stuff we've done so far, so the little cannon, the drop into the whale, whale tail, um, then into the jump, then into the landing I'm standing on right now. And honestly, it's not bad. I've definitely cased meant too many times, I probably think. And um, yeah, I've, I've had a really bad experience on it so far. But you know, it's not that bad, to be honest. I think it's pretty solid. I have done it a few times and it feels pretty good. Right, anyway, enough about this. We need to talk about what we're planning on ahead. And as you can probably see, this is, well, what's ahead. So yeah, it's pretty shocking. There's just like, it's just, yeah. Nothing there. Anyway, so the camera right now is standing on the jump, on on the landing, and um, yeah, so I'm just going to do a small little walk down of where the jump line's going to go to get you guys an idea, so yeah. So I'm planning for the next jump to go right here, so I'm going to give myself a little bit of room off the landing. The landing of that jump is probably going to be about here. Oh, sorry, right, oh shoot, there's my phone. Um, anyway, right, so, yeah, right, that is the plan. Today we'll go, we'll do a little bit of like, marking out with logs where the jump's gonna go. Tear up this land to make it look like a track. Put some dirt on that bit, but I'm not gonna do that much today because, as you can probably tell, my voice is short. So yeah, right, let's get to it. But hold on, just before I get started, I need to take care of a few specimens. As you can tell, we, you can't tell it's obviously on the side of the trail, but these two trees and the small, one's slightly grown, one's not, they need to be taken out. They're fully in the way and they shouldn't take at all. And I've got a nice new saw, so it's a good trick. Should be good. Oh shoot! Oh, he's gonna hit me then. There you go. Majestic. Right, let's get on the second one now. Right, so I think I'm just going to start by clearing all these trees because there is a lot of wood, sticks, branches, and just obviously the two trees are just put down. So, yeah, we'll move that all to the side and yeah. Right, so now that all that's cleared, I think I'm just making a very vague path down here, but I'm probably not going to go that far, I'm probably going to do this bit. It, it might not be that vague, it might just be, I might just cut out the path. Right, anyway, yeah, let's get to it. Right, and now that that's all there, as you can see, there's a really, really small log right there. Definitely get like two more. Bit, bit, maybe even three more. It's not going to be the biggest jump in the world. I think it's going to be like a lot. It's, it's going to be a little breeze to go over. Um, and then maybe do another jump off that. But yeah, right, I'm not going to do this now. I'm going to do this maybe tomorrow or the day after. So see you guys then. Right, and we are back. And as you can see, we've got a few more bricks now on that bit. Don't wait this bit, but yeah. The jump is ready to have dirt on it. And then we will see how big the jump's going to be. Put, put the landing down. And yeah, right. So let's do a quick time lapse. Finishing this off and get some dirt on that jump. Right, well that didn't take long at all. I think wheelbarrow is one wheelbarrow is gonna be enough. I'm just gonna put some sticks in the back so the logs move. And yeah, I think actually that looks good. I'm not gonna make it too big of a jump. Because it's already on kind of a hill, so maybe the hill might give it some 
more boost, but it's meant to be just like a little bit of a skimmer that you can just like speed really fast off and stuff. So yeah, we'll just tidy it up and put some sticks in it. And yeah, and then we'll see about the landing. So usually I have like a hammer with me or like the end of like the axe, like not like not, like, not the sharp bit, but I haven't today, so I've just got a rock. So yeah, got two sticks and basically doing this just really helps the bog to stay in place because you see right there it's really wobbly and yeah, so what I do is just get a nice spot like that, get a nice flat bit of the rock and you just start hammering, oh no, I've made that, never mind, start again, put it there and put it right up next to the, up next to the log, it stays place and then you just hammer it in. bit more so we don't just stand sticks both up the ground when we got the jump so that would be awful and that would end in not a good push that should be good that should be perfect and now that side's pretty sturdy that side's not so we'll do the same for the other side Perfect. It's a little bit wobbly, but you know, keeps it right in place. And you don't have to worry about the log just falling off again. And the dirt should hopefully, because we're getting to summer now, the dirt should very, very soon turn into like almost concrete. So that'll help with the log staying in place as well and the bricks. So yeah. Right, so now we can start building the landing. But it doesn't really need to be that bad. I'm not going to put any logs or um, extra dirt there. I think I'm, I'm just going to dig it out, see how it looks. Because, yeah, again, this is only a little, like, hop and a skip jump. It's not like one of the ones back there where you're going miles. So, um, yeah, we'll just dig it in, take all these brambles, and see how it looks. Right, I'd say that's pretty good as a landing right now. I don't think it really even needs a landing, but I made one anyway. But um, yeah, it's, it's not the best landing in the world, but it'll do. Um, but I'm more concerned on what I should do next. If I should put another jump, because that is a path right down there. Um, put another jump right on this bit, or, make, or leave it just flat. Or put a jump going over the path. I think probably jump over the path would be the best idea. But I'm still not sure. That's definitely for the next video though, so yeah. Right, it's a bit windy just now, but I'm just going to walk you guys through um, the jump line we've done so far, and yeah. So, as you can see, here is the very, very start. Come all the way down here. That's the main line right there, a little stump jump. Come down here to the berms. Berm number one. Then berm number two, which is sort of a berm, but, you know, it definitely, definitely works. Come underneath the fallen tree. And then down here into a small little straight straight into the jumps now i i think i might have made this jump line a tiny bit too crowded but you know i'd say it pretty well i'd say it works um here we have the cannon jump which honestly is probably the best looking jump i've ever made i think it looks pretty damn good and it's my first wooden feature and yeah i think i definitely am going to make more in the future but, um yeah works well one thing I have got, one thing is quite annoying about it is, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna extend the landing. I think I want it to be a like I think you just breeze over instead of something that I'm trying to jump over to then jump to that, because I always lose my speed on this bit. Because as you can see, I case right there has some tire marks. I case right there and I don't get enough stuff that, and I don't, I don't get enough speed. So that's why I've got the case pad because I'm terrified of casing that massive log. Right, so moving on. You've got the whale tail dirt thing that I didn't mean to make it whale tail, but I think I think it is a whale tail. I don't think I'm going to call it that because it looks like one, but just need to extend that landing a bit. And yet again, this dirt jump is quite nice to have done it with the logs. I, th I think it's pretty good. I for some reason tried to make a lot of jumps quite wide, like at the start, but I don't think that's going to work. I think thin jumps like this work really well. And then of course you've got the landing, which has the really shocking wooden case pad but it's actually a pretty nice big landing so i'm quite pleased that i made it quite big that means there's a lot of time for improvements and a lot of space for crash you know 
Right, moving on. So you got this nice little bit of straight here, which I carved out in this video a lot of it, and you know, just basics. Come along here, and then here we have the jump that we did today. Nice little hopper, skipper, whatever you want to call it. Nice small little jump, just breezes over you the tiny little lump here, and then you've got a small little landing right there. And yet again, this landing is really not much on camera, it barely even picks it up as anything to be honest, but um. Yeah, it's definitely there. It's definitely there. I, I honestly, I can definitely see it, but it's it's def it's an, it's another step down, and I there's a lot of step downs here, but you know I do like them quite easy. But uh, yeah, right. And then on the next few videos I'm gonna make, definitely gonna be going along down here. No idea what to do, like I said, but I think I'm just gonna I think I have a small idea, and that might be just a little road gap jump as well. There's a lot of road gap jumps here. They, they do look quite good though they look quite good right and that is the end of the video guys I hope you really enjoyed only a small little video today um because yeah it's only a small little jump a small little bit to do the next video we'll get on down there and we'll start making that massive jump the big big road gap jump or maybe we leave it there you never know right have a lovely rest of the evening guys or day or morning or have a good sleep whatever peace out and see you later